Good morning, afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Nolan. Welcome back. It's currently 2 a.m. in the morning, but I wanted to record this. I'll probably post this for like a reasonable time in the morning, but right now I am up late. I was watch I was playing a new game that just dropped. I have been sitting on this video for a couple days because we've had a lot of content that's been streaming out ever since we had an AHL signing, uh, a waiver claim a Jets game, and the Ahsoka finale, which are four videos you should check out, by the way, in no particular order. Um, but now we've got some more news that I'm actually able to share. Um, and this is in regards to the Manitoba Moose. The Manitoba Moose, Moose right now are holding tryouts, pretty much. They're doing their training camp, um, just like in any other league. Once the higher-up league finishes their final cuts, the bottom league... It, starts their final cuts now now so far we are not at final cuts yet for the winnipeg jets we are about five to seven players away from getting there five to six i'd say um however for the moose we have are we're already underway now there are seven open tryout amateur tryout contracts that have been announced and i'm gonna go through all of them and i'm just gonna let you know I don't think these guys have the, the highest offer chance of making the Manitoba Moose. However, however, it is worth noting who is showing up. Um, and there's a lot of Manitoba um, talent in here, as well as a couple Norfolk Admirals, given they are now our new ECHL team. Before we get into that, here is our wonderful sponsor. Do you find yourself not having razors with skin-safe technology? Carter. Yeah? You have a razor? Yeah, here's this no-name one. Oh, okay. That's where Manscaped can save the day. With Manscaped's exceptional selection of products, you can find every tool for the job, like the lawnmower 4.0. Man, I don't know. It looks like the same lawnmower. <laughs> No, not that one. Carter, do you have another razor? Yeah, here you go. Get the Lawnmower 4.0 with its impressive skin safe technology, as well as the Beard Hedger, the Weed Whacker 2.0 for no ear and nose hair trimming, and so much more from Manscaped. I must say, after receiving this product from Manscaped, I have, I've been quite impressed with it, especially this beard hedger here. Me personally, this is my personal favorite, the you know best razor I have used, and I just love the way that you can adjust the height really easily, but they have some excellent products. So what are you waiting for? Make sure to check out the description below, click on the link, and use promo code NHP on Manscaped for 20% off your order. Now, without further ado, back to the video. Yeah, so let's get it started um, first with Ryan Foss of the Norfolk Folk Admirals. Um, honestly, I looked through his statist statistics right now, and Centerman, 27 years old from Oak Oakville, Ontario. Um, he actually played in France, which is honestly kind of impressive. He played in France for a year, which is just an impressive stat. Like, I didn't know... Hockey was that big in France, so to be playing out overseas like that is kind of cool. Um, his numbers are kind of a little all over the place here. Uh, however, he this is his going to be he's going into his second year in the ECHL. Uh, his first year was pretty solid, forty five points in sixty four games, despite holding a minus nineteen. Um, he's in a tough spot, ob obviously. However, there's always a likelihood that he could have a really good camp, so we'll have to kind of see where it goes. Now we go on to Dante Giannuzzi, um, a, a goaltender, who is kind of in a rough spot. He's 21 years old. He's from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. The Jets have actually had him out at a lot of camps uh, to help work things, and I thought they were going to send him uh, with, the other two, uh, with the other two goalies for the Young Stars Classic just as a backup, just in case disaster strikes. However, they chose, they opted against it. Now, there's two stats here that kind of jump out to me. So... He's played in the WHL for the past four years. His numbers aren't terrible. Um, he, he sits with a 7-1 record, 9-7-3, 19-9-4, 23-13-3. Um, but then his playoff record is strange to me. He played for the Portland Winterhawks, which I don't know how they did, for to be sure. But he has one game in the playoffs where he gave up, and this is real, 
A goals against an average of 17.31. What happened there? But yeah, no, he's currently signed in the ECHL to the Utah Grizzlies, so if he doesn't get a contract, he will go back to something. Um, I think he's got a really low chance, given the fact that the Moose and the Jets... Salmonen is locked in, and so is probably Colin Delia. It's so, it's so clogged up that I don't even think Thomas Millich is going to be playing in the AHL. So it's really a tough spot for Dante right now to make that make a push for a spot. He could impress, and that might be more of, a, shall we say, a marker to follow up on later in his career as a possible Moose candidate, but I don't think that this year is the right year for him. Moving on, we're up to Keaton J Keaton Jameson. He he's from Brandon, Manitoba, 25 years old. He is a forward um, who's actually got a lot of, uh, uh, shall we say, history in the province of Manitoba. He, were, he played out of the University of Manitoba for four years from 2018 to 2022. Um, he played in for the Fort Wayne Comets and the Utah Grizzlies, currently signed to the Norfolk Admirals. His last year in Utah, uh, 37 points in 71 games, not bad at all. He is in a tough spot as the forward core is stacked with a lot of prospects. The Jets have really just filled up in their developmental system. It, it's not impossible for him to make it, but he might just be getting assigned to the, to the Norfolk Admirals. Moving on, uh, we have another... Norfolk Admiral Derek Lewis Jean, or Jean. Uh, he's 22 years old from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. He is a defender. He's a left defense. Um, he has played all over, most recently for the Norfolk Admirals. He's played in the ECHL now for three years. Easily, by far, his best year was last year in Norfolk, where he recorded 15 points in 54 games. Defense is a little more open, I think. I think defense, ironically for the logjam that is up in uh, the Winnipeg Jets system, I think there are there's one spot possibly open on defense for the Manitoba Moose. They've done a good job of bouncing. A lot of their vets don't go too crazy. It's worth noting they signed Dawson Barteau and uh, re-signed Jimmy Oligny to contract. So there are two defense spots there that are purely AHL guys. However, it is a possibility that one of these guys could make it, could make a push here. Now, we're going to some of the guys that actually have a little bit interesting, more of a pedigree here. Uh, Stelio, Ma Stelio Matios, I, I know I butchered that, 24 years old from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Um, he is a right wing slash center He's played his entire year. He's been, he, his entire youth has been growing up uh, playing for Winnipeg Monarchs, Winnipeg Wild, Brandon Wheat Kings. Uh, he was actually the captain for the Brandon Wheat Kings in 2018-19 with 96 points in 65 games. Uh, since then, he's played, he's bounced around mainly in the AHL. He's uh, had, he hasn't really, he's, it's funny, he's been on the Char Charlotte Checkers, the Chicago Wolves, the Fort Wayne Comets for three games. And the, back to the Chicago Wolves. And he struggled to put up a lot of points. His penalty minutes is a little high, which makes me question whether or not he's the type of guy that is at bringing a more physical aspect here. Obviously, stats don't tell the whole story. But when you only have six points in 20, 20 games, I do ask questions. There's obviously an option. Like, if I'm, if I'm looking at who we're signing, if we're signing guys like Mark Lewiski, there's obviously an option for them to want to go to have more physical guys like that. However, with guys like Tyrell Bauer and the aforementioned Mark Lewiski, he, the odds are not going to be on his side. Moving on to guys with pedigree here. We have Colt, um, or, or we have Colt Conrad, um, who is from Brandon, Manitoba, 26 years old, centerman, um, has played in the AHL for a long time, actually. He played dating back to 2018-19, uh, played for split time with the Toronto Marlies and the Henderson Silver Knights, uh, as well as a brief stint with the Newfoundland Growlers where he showed he was better than an ECHLer. His numbers as an ECHLer for one year from 2019 to 20 is a 38 points in 42 games. Now he's pretty much sitting on the fringes of AHLer status as he recorded nine points in 39 games. The prior year he recorded 22 and 44. Obviously, a lot of Manitobans have a little bit of seniority when trying out, as you can tell with 95% of the tryout open tryouts have been for Manitobans. I don't know if he gets there. I think he could be 
one of the last cuts of these amateur tryouts, but I don't think it's quite enough. He probably would get an offering with the Norfolk Admirals, though, which is not a terrible thing to do, especially, especially since you're getting paid to play hockey still at that point. Um, and then the last one we have here is 23-year-old Danny Caddick uh, from the Norfolk Admirals um, from Porcupine, Ontar Ontario, Canada. He played in the OHL growing up for a whopping five years um, from 2016 uh, to 2021. Played at University of Toronto and then played his uh, last season on the Norfolk Admirals. 40 points in 67 games. Not bad at all. Again, I think he's in a tough spot. I think his points, his points total is one of the more, um, shall I say, encouraging of the bunch I've read um, going through the list here. Again, I don't know how many spots are truly open, though, for guys to make the team on the Manitoba Moose. If Mark Morrison is looking for a lot more talent... Obviously, I think he will find at least a one guy in this out of this seven, this bunch of seven. That being said, I don't know if the Moose are truly giving a lot of t shot and a lot of breaks to the guys that are trying out for the team. You never know, but we'll see. Honestly, what are your guys' thoughts on this? Also, with that being said, I'm really excited for the Manitoba Moose because honestly, I think they have a better chance of making the playoffs than the Winnipeg Jets do. I think... Because they don't have to sell. They, they, they don't have to sell. I think they have a lot of young prospects that you guys should definitely go check out when you are watching. Or when it's cheap. Tickets are like 20 bucks. Honestly, take some time to go to the Manitoba Moose game. It's a fun time, honestly. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on the video. There's a Jets game uh, later tonight, which I will be covering for sure. I'll be happy to see you then. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Connor, you'll stretch the top for Connor and Fesco!